welcome to Bruise with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? I'm, uh, I'm solid. Maybe terrible. I don't even know what that means. But let's get to the beer. Uh, this one is the finale of my four-part Sierra Nevada uh, Little Things series. Uh, this one is called Wild Little Thing. Uh, Sierra Nevada out of Chico, California. Uh, slightly sour ale. This one is... Five and a half on the Richter. Mm, tap in. Uh, but no, I've had it. It's, it's, this is going to be interesting. Uh, it says this slightly sour, wild little thing has just the right smack of tartness for serious refreshment while guava, hibiscus, and strawberry lend fruity, sweet depth and a bright pop of color. Uh, seven IBU, just seven, the old way. Um, Accelerated kettle souring and friendly bacteria for a tart smack is what it says. It is, uh, it's the only hops in it are Cascade, which are all kind of the old school hop with floral and piney and all that. But uh, malts, oats, two row pale wheat. Um, yeah, I'm just looking right off the site. There you go. So other guava, hibiscus, and strawberry natural flavors. So we've got some, we, We've got some uh, some natural flavoring in this one. Uh, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, 67,000 people have rated this about about a 3.5 out of 5 on untapped. Uh, don't think that that means that it's going to be a 7 out of, out of 10, which would be a C-. minus. Someone wants to join me. Are you, you going to say hi? Hi. Yeah, she, she, her voice is a little not. Say, can you say, um, welcome to Bruce with Beck? Welcome to Bruce Beck. And say, will you please like and subscribe? Wait, you like to join. Okay, why don't you hit the button? All right, say see you guys. See you guys. Okay. <laughs> Daughter is sounding raspy. She, she hasn't been feeling too good lately, but it's okay. Enough to do a cameo on Bruce with Beck. Um, so, all right, so let's get back to it. So what you got, uh, based on what I was saying, I was like 3.5 out of 5 doesn't necessarily mean a C minus, like a 7 out of 10. I would, you know, I'm going to guess people are crying to tell me that this is kind of like a B minus or something like that, but we'll see. I don't really care. I'm going to tell you what I think about it, son or, you know, daughter, whatever you want. Um, okay, let's get into it. Hopefully you're having a great day. Leave in the comments below if you've had this. Uh... That's about all I got. Let's get these strawberry and guava natural flavors, shall we? All right, I asked the usual favor. Nothing nothing too much. Very, very simple. We please hammer the hell out of that like button and the subscribe button. Let's get some subscribers more on here. Let, let, let's get up to 1,000 in like two days. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, but that way we can sit down with... A cold drink that looks like this anytime you want. All right, all right, all right. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Boom. Oh, yeah. And cheers. I got this on the side. <clears throat> Scotch. All right. So, uh, looks refreshing. Looks looks nice. Um, let's get the aroma check. Ooh, smells kind of like... Funky, funky, uh, fruity. Almost like a strawberry mixed with like a dirt, like a sweat sock. Interesting, but it does have that kind of. There you go, the guava tone in there. Hold on one second. The uh, kids are are running a muck. Hold on. Alrighty, can't have people running a muck. By the way, speaking of, you know, uh, Chili Palma is running a muck. You got to see that movie. Get Shorty. Trust me, great, great movie. Probably top 10, top 15 movies of all time. Get Shorty. Go check it out. All right. But no, it's got, does have some nice hibiscus slash strawberry slash guava. Um, I think the guava actually is kicking in quite a bit. I smell that maybe even more than the other two. But the sweat sock, I'm telling you. All right. Not that I'm uh, drinking sweat socks all the time. All right. Well, no words, just emotions. Let's drink this down our gullet. Refreshing. 
Um, has that kind of, that true kind of uh, kombucha, not quite kombucha sour note, but um, that that sour note. Um, I don't know if I get like maybe just even a little pineapple and like there you go, but like like kind of a sour pineapple thing, but definitely guava, definitely <laughs> guava, and like like as if you put like strawberry, a, str a touch of strawberry uh, skins on it. But not gonna lie, very refreshing. Um, five and a half is on the Richter. What does it taste like? I could have actually on this one guessed like, you know, a lot of sours you see these days are like four, four and a half, something like that. Kind of comes off like four and a half. It comes off very light. Even has like a peachy keen type of thing to go into it. There you go. Get the bubbles. Get the bubbles. It's, it's almost like sh peachy keen champ champagne, champagne meets beer. <laughs> But more on the guava strawberry. I just looks like peachy, peachy. Um, all right. So yeah, feels four and a half. Mouth feel really light, like twenty out of a hundred, like just above like a domestic. But yeah, all right. Well, give me a second. I'm gonna see if there's any other notes I need to uh, address or what people have said. Uh, I'm gonna give it a grade. And get the hell out of here. Hold on. All right. Um, too dramatic. Anyway, one thing I didn't, I didn't never notice on these cans. Uh, family owned, operated, and argued over. Well done, Sierra Nevada. Argued over. Well done. Um, <laughs> when it, there's three comments that came up. Found them kind of, you know, factual. And then one was just comical. Uh, one said, not as sour as I had hoped. Then someone said, the gateway sour. Meaning, there you go. It's not really sour, but it's enough, so that kind of makes sense. And then a dude, Alan, on on tap said, I don't norm normally usually like sours, but this one's pretty good. I'd smash this. I'd get effed up on this. My 61-year-old mother, who doesn't like beer, even enjoyed it. <laughs> there you go. That says it all right there. That says it all right there. I have no other analysis. <clears throat> I love these little gifts they give me from uh, Untapped. Some of the thoughts. Um... The one I'm the it, it is like a funky sock meets a strawberry skin meets guava meets you know sour. It is refreshing, but you know, for me, it's a it it would be a good change up. Like you know, I've had these uh, seltzers that are like a margarita seltzer that's interesting. Wouldn't want to drink it all the time. We'll drink it just as a quick change up if someone's offering and pushing it on me but not really my thing um this there you go not really my thing but you know it's interesting um all right well that's kind of what i got you, you you heard what i said all right so but again leave in the comments Anything you would like to tell me about whether you've had this before or what you're drinking or what you're doing or just any thoughts at all, please just comment down below and like and subscribe. All right. Still down to hell no. Um, Jeez. You know what? I'm going to slam it and then I'm going to tell you. Cheers. It's over. It's over, Vince Carter. Um... Yeah. See, see, see. This is tough. Um, for me, I know this is gonna be bad. I'm not saying it's bad. It's 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 on the high part of drinkable. I I can dig what they're doing. I just it's. It's not even, it's fine. There you go. Like, I, I'd give it, like, like a high C plus. So, like, 79 out of 100. So, there you go. It's a 79. Um, I think it's I think it's fine. I think it just comes off a little light.
But if you're into that, like, you know, strawberry skin, um, you know, guava thing, like, like, but just like almost feels like there's no alcohol in it. And it's not, it's a subtle sour. It's not big, like in your face sour. You know, there you go. But leave in the comments. I would love to hear. So that's my thoughts. 79, C, C plus, uh, drinkable. Um, and yeah, this concludes the, um, four of the little things from Sierra Nevada. I told you I'd do it. Um, and you know, if I have to do another, should I do another, uh, let me know. Should I do another hot sauce? Is there another hot sauce out there that is very hot that I should do other than the bomb? I haven't done that in a while. I would do that. Um, I'm man up. So, all right. Appreciate y'all. Please give me a like and subscribe. Really simple for my YouTube algorithm. Dunk, dunk. We'll see you out there. Peace.